What's up, everybody? Jared here with Benchmark Outdoors. It is July 31st, 2018, which means it is the day before Nevada's archery antelope season begins. My good friend and I are headed out today to an area that I've spent a lot of time scouting. I've got some ground blinds set up um, and some really good bucks spotted right here in uh, Nevada on our public lands. So we're headed out. I'm headed to his house to load, uh, load the, his gear up into my pickup. And we're gonna get out, do some last minute scouting, put the Nikon spotter to, to work, and uh, see if we can't get a little bit of an idea of what's, on, uh, what's in the area tonight. So this is the first kickoff video for the 2018 season for me. Um, I hope you enjoy the video that's gonna follow this. And I wish all of you a very safe, fun, and hunting season for 2018. Make sure to help out a fellow sportsman if he needs it. Be kind to someone that you meet and be a good ambassadors, not only for uh, the sports that we love, but also for our public lands. Good luck. All right, we're checking water. This is a good sign. We got three bucks just come running in the water <laughs> right at us. And uh, the one buck's pretty good. What do you say, E? Looks good, man. Looks good, huh? Definitely. Opener's tomorrow. Six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 12 bucks right there. Season starts tomorrow. One of these are pretty good. Most of them are small. day of archery season here in Nevada and I am just didn't sleep a wink last night so very exciting it's a quarter to six now I'm um, sitting over the water hole it's about 30 yards from my blind it's been up here uh, I put the blinds up five days ago uh, my buddy Ernesto is here hunting with me and uh, I put a blind up for him as well and he's about a, about a half a mile away Anyways, we've got a cool setup here. There's a ton of goats. We've seen a bunch of bucks yesterday evening after we got here and got our little makeshift camp set up. So I think we've seen about 30 bucks yesterday, 22 bucks in one group. So uh, all those bucks we've seen about about six really, really solid shooters. Anyways, we're in it for the long haul. We've got lots of food and water, comfortable chair. And uh, we're just going to sit here, chill out. And imagine we won't see the activity until it gets hot midday. So I brought a good book and uh, looking forward to the hunt. So what do you do in the ground blind to burn time? I've been in here uh, about two and a half hours. Seen a couple birds and two coyotes. Um, <clears throat> I know that most antelope water during the heat of the day. So I brought a book. I brought a book from somebody whom whom I respect heavily that uh, was given to me by somebody I respect. And um, it's kind of a book outside of what I would normally read. <clears throat> But, I'm a happily married man to my best friend, and uh, there's always a way to improve potentially your relationship, and one of, the, one of the blessings that I've received is that my wife understands my passion 
and my addiction to be a sportsman. So, the book I'm going to read while I'm in the blind antelope hunting is called The Language of Love and Respect from Dr. Emerson. Cracking the communication code with your mate. So, that's what it looks like. Um, I've been told it's an amazing book and um, a little unorthodox for me, but I'm going to give it a go. So, anyways, cheers to maybe that much sweeter of a relationship and uh, to burn some time. Alright, well I've been sitting for about three hours now. Alright, so I've been in, the, been in the blind for about seven hours now. Do you remember the movie Anchorman? When Will Ferrell says, Milk was a bad choice. <laughs> That's about how I feel right now. Alright, I'm eight hours in. And, uh, let me tell you. August 1st, in Nevada, in a ground blind, antelope hunting is no joke. Nine hours in. All right, hour ten in the books. Still haven't seen a goat. Eleven hours. That's how long I've been sitting here. Twelve hours in. in here for 13 hours and I have not seen a single coat and very little life of anything well I think that's a wrap for this blind here I've got uh, just over 15 and a half hours sitting in this blind and I have not seen anything I know from scouting that there are a ton of antelope around here most of them are on private. Third, a few days after the opener for Archery Antelope here in Nevada, uh, came back home last night after getting our butts whooped for the first couple of days of season. Um, the area that I had found in scouting that had all the antelope in it on that on the fresh water was uh, not very good. Uh, my my good friend Ernesto and I sat for a collective of 35 hours, 17 and a half hours apiece over the course of two days, and saw one buck. It was a big one. Um, and Ernesto unfortunately was unable to capitalize due to a sound in his chair. Anyways, we're headed back out uh, to a different area, got all my gear loaded, and then more importantly, I've got my best little buddy with me. And it's him and I, dad and son, as it should be. Heading hey guys, today me and my dad are going on an archery antelope hunt here in Nevada. So Carter and I just got up to the area we want to be at. And we just ran into a really nice guy, local guy, and uh, we chatted a little bit about bow hunting. And he's uh, he's a little bit more ambitious than me. He's hunting antelope with uh, with traditional archery. I have to give him props for that. But a really nice guy. Um, two fellow bow hunters up here just met briefly, talked about where we're each hunting, and went our separate ways. So we wish him the best of luck. And now it's on to plan B. We're gonna go back to where uh, we started the hunt. All right, so I know it's a little bit windy. Um, Carter and I have got our makeshift camp set up. We've got a ground blind um, 
set up in an area where we've seen some goats and uh, it's nearby the same area that Ernesto and I have been hunting uh, the first two days of Nevada's archer season for antelope. So um, we're going to just kind of hang out and keep it, or play it cool for the rest of the evening. But we're going to go ahead and eat dinner, which is uh, cold elk meat. Cold elk meat, huh? So I barbecued some elk steaks that I had had marinating for about five days uh, today before we left and sliced them up into to bite sized chunks. So we're gonna we're gonna say cheers to dinner tonight, ain't we, buddy? Yeah. Of cold elk meat, right? Yeah, you do eat it first. You get to try first. So it's uh, it's chilled, but it's cooked to perfection. Mmm. It is good. <laughs> right? The heat and stuff doesn't really change it. And it's it good. tastes better like this kind of. So, anyways, we're gonna hang out. And uh, watch as the the sun sets. Get uh, get to bed early because we're getting up at what time? 4:30. 4:30 in the morning. Are you be able to get up that early? <laughs> we'll get them up. So <sighs> hopefully tomorrow brings us good luck. Now that I got my my best little hunt buddy with us. So it's 10.30 and Carter and I have now been in the blind for five hours and we haven't seen anything yet. But we're still optimistic, right? Little man's gotten hot so he's show showing off his muscles. And uh, we're just hanging out and Zach's still hanging out up on the ridge. Well, it's about 10 minutes to noon and we finally just seen our first buck a long ways away, following a doe up and over the ridge to the north, which is not a good sign, because I know that's one of the bucks we saw in here yesterday. Biggest one? Hmm? It's the biggest one? Yeah, it looks like he's the biggest one. Check out all the smoke. It's, uh, we're just, the west is getting hammered by forest fires, wildland fires. Um, and the air quality is not very good. Okay, it's August the 5th. It's uh, just about 12.30. Uh, this is my fourth set in a ground blind um, in two locations. The first location looked really good, but there wasn't any activity. Uh, this next location also looks good, and there's been a few bugs in here. So, you know, we're just going to gonna sit here and be patient. Uh, we've been sitting all day or in the mornings. So today we're going to try the afternoon. Um, we have not set past one o'clock at this particular water hole. Um, and I've been in here scouting. I've seen four different bucks um, between like 4 and 6 p.m. So we're hoping, we believe, um, good things come to those who are patient. And we've been patient. And we've sweated a lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, my little man and I, we're gonna get settled in, get comfortable, and uh, just see what happens. One of the best things that we've found to stay a little bit cooler than, than the ambient temperature is by using a spray bottle, and it feels wonderful.
Guys, we just did it. We have put in some hours here in Nevada. A lot of hours. Chasing speed goats, and I've just killed my first ever archery antelope buck. I am elated. He's shaking like crazy. <laughs> you know that feeling of euphoria where your knees are just shaking like crazy right after you kill a kill an animal? I got to experience that today on public lands with my son. It's a great buck. Um, I had to shoot him twice. I saw that I spined him, uh, so I jumped out of the blind, um, cut the distance, Carter was running camera, and I snuck up to 20, and, and then I put the uh, jackhammer right behind his right behind his shoulder and put him down in seconds. So we're gonna go take a look at my Nevada public land 2018 buck. And I can't tell you how pumped I am to know that my little boy was with me. And uh, we spent so much time, 16 hours this kid's been in the blind with me between yesterday and today. So. It was all worth it. It was all worth it, wasn't it? We knew it. We knew it, today was the day. Good things come to those who exhibit patience. <laughs>